All right, hey everyone, uh, welcome back to um, my channel. Uh, we are uh, in SDL season 12, and it is the first week. Um, obviously, I haven't planned an intro. I'm just trying to get right through this uh, so that I can get to the battle. I battle in about 20 minutes uh, against Witchard, so I wanted to go through the team uh, real quick just to show you what I got going on here. Um, his uh, The matchup is in the top right. And that's our, our logo in the top left, just because I, I love I love showing it off. Um, so yeah, he's got a team of uh, Landers Incarnate with Sheer Force, obviously. Um, Slow King, Gal uh, Galarian Slow King, Rillaboom, Raikou, Blastoise, Mega Agron, Slurpuff, Obstagoon, um, Colossal, and Illumise. So uh, a lot of a lot of uh, cool interesting mons there um landers is a huge threat for my team i don't really have much for it um i, I played around with maybe an uh, bulky uh audino to maybe deal with it but that didn't really work work well when the landers went physical and i audino isn't bulky enough to take on a you know either a physical or a special uh landers on its own so uh, we're just gonna have to hope it's not a few different sets um that i have in mind so um, yeah, Slow King is a huge threat. It's, it's really, it's just really good because, you know, even though it can't, uh, poison things with Toxic or can't badly poison things, uh, it gets so much coverage. It, it literally hits like probably everything in the game super effectively that there's really nothing that, I mean, unless it's like a Spiritomb that is only weak to fairy. I don't think it, I don't think Slow King gets any fairy type moves, but it, it gets such good coverage. You know, it has Regenerator. It has a great typing um, it can't teleport, which is good for us, but you know, it, it's still very annoying. Um, Rillaboom can be strong, like a banded Rillaboom is a problem. We gotta watch out for Shell Smash, uh, Blastoise, Belly Jump, Slurpuff as well. Um, yeah, just just a bunch of bunch of problems there. Uh, Mega Aggron could be annoying late game because I don't have a Ghost type. So if he goes like Iron Defense, Body Press, that could be annoying. Uh, but yeah, let's let's go into what I'm bringing here. Uh, I have a Greninja, Choice Specs Greninja with enough speed for Raikou um, to outspeed that. Um, Scald, Dark Pulse, Hydro Pump, and U-Turn. Um, didn't really need Ice Beam. I, I favor U-Turn over that because I'm not going to be able to Oko Raik uh, Rillaboom from full. So I'd rather U-Turn on that switch. Um, like as he switches, I'd rather you get a U-Turn off. So um, yeah. And other than that, I mean, I, I really just kind of go in against his team. Um, choice specs does a lot of damage. If, I, if I'm landing hydro pumps, it's really tough to switch into that form because um, it, you know his resistances are just Rillaboom and Blastoise, and neither all neither are going to be you know the bulkiest things uh, in the world. So that is good to know. Um, next up, I have Rosary or Rose the Rosary uh, with Spikes, Leechy, Giga Drain, and Sludge Bomb. This Spideff, um allows me to take a plus two ice beam i believe after rocks um actually no you know I'll, I'll look at it after i'm done recording here but i believe that it, what, that's what it is so i can take a, a modest plus two ice beam no matter what and i can hit back with a giga drain should do enough to where i can pick it off with something else so um that's kind of crisis averted in that situation um unless of course you bring sent headbutt but um i might actually live that because i have the rest in defense just so i can take hits a little bit better from like a a Rillaboom or a Slurpuff or you know maybe a physical Landorus uh, but this is a great switch into um, Blastoise it's also really nice for Raikou uh, it can it can you know it can halfway deal deal with Rillaboom like I said um, it's nice for Slurpuff I guess kind of a belly drum deterrent uh, even though he probably Oko's me at plus six anyway like with a facade or something uh, cannot run return keep that in mind but yeah just great for spike stacking because his only removal is going to be rapid spin colossal rapid spin blastoise and landorus uh defog i don't see defog and landorus coming i think it's it's too useful in this matchup to waste a move on defog um rapid spin blastoise is probably going to be his option here uh, but yeah that is the roserade i can just leech eat things and kind of be a general nuisance hopefully next up we have zapdos um with Defog, Roost, U-Turn, and Heat Wave. This was what I had instead of uh, Audino, and then I, or Audino, and then I changed it to Zapdos because I thought it was a little bit 
uh, better for Landorus. Um, also is a second deterrent to Rillaboom, which is nice. Um, deals, with deals with Aggron quite nicely. And, uh, you know, it can, it can, you know, switch into Zapdos if he tries to flip turn, I can get a stat static off on him, uh, which would be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, no elect, no stab on this mod because I kind of want Heat Wave for Aggron, um, in case it tries to set up, uh, you know, like, uh, Iron Defenses on me. I might change that to Volt Switch though, or Thunderbolt, just to be able to fire off Thunderbolts. Uh, but yeah, Heat Wave is really nice for, for Aggron. I think I'm actually going to go um, negative speed here so that I'm able to, um, no matter what, unless he's also negative speed, Rillaboom or, and or Blastoise, um, I'll be able to get the slow U-turn off on them, which is good. So like if he clicks U-turn, um, even if he has no speed, I'll be able to uh, take that and then whatever he brings in, I hit the U-turn on. So then I get uh, the initiative there, so that's nice. Um, so yeah, next up is the Jirachi uh, Paladin. Spadef here. Uh, to pretty much deal with Raikou and Slowking, um, those are the two main uh, things I can I can deal with pretty well here. Stealth Rock, Wish Protect, and Doom, Stop, Doom Desire, uh, which is really good, uh, just to kind of damage things no matter what. And uh, Wish Passing is is always always nice. Uh, and then Stealth Rocks, because Stealth Rocks are nice too. So pretty pretty self explanatory stuff here. Um, yeah, so next up is uh, a jet packed Infernape. <clears throat> I have enough attack here so that I'm almost guaranteed to 2KO a Slow King. Um, after Black Sludge recovery, I can 2KO him with Earthquake. That's if it's Fizz Def. Or, sorry, that's if it's Spidef. I can't 2KO if, it, if it's Fizz Def. Uh, but my plan is probably just to lead with this and click Overheat. Because if he wants to switch into like a Slow King, uh, I can just Overheat and. Um, you know, I'll, I'll get my stats lowered, and then I'll click, uh, I'll have the eject pack there to switch me out, so I get a little bit of early game momentum, um, judging on what he wants to uh, lead with. Um, I also have close combat if I want to click that instead. Let's say he doesn't bring Slow King for whatever reason, I can just close combat um, on uh, turn one, um, and that will also lower my stats, and that'll that'll trigger the eject pack. So, also we are Iron Fist Mach Punch boosted. Uh, stuff. I don't know why close combat isn't boosted by Mach Punch or by Iron Fist, but whatever. Um, that's fine. Enough speed for um, Landorus, so I can outpace. I'm really scared of Scarf Landorus, by the way. I hope he doesn't bring that, um, but I guess we'll see. Uh, I have more special attack just because I feel like clicking overheat is a little bit more spammable, um, so I want to have a lot of special attack there. Uh, it's it's not it's much better for Agron uh, than like a close combat um, and his only real fire switches are going to be like Colossal which I can close combat and then Blastoise which I can also hit pretty well with close combat so um, and then I guess Slowking is just naturally bulky so it'll be able to take it but um, yeah so that's the infinite um, if he leads Landorus I'm probably just going to hard switch into Zapdos because I don't want to risk it being Scarfed and losing my infinite um, that early. Next up is, or last but not least, I should say, Lycan Rock. Also enough speed for Landris. Um, the rest is an attack and then HP. Uh, we got Life Orb with Stone Edge, Crunch, Close Combat, Accelerate. This thing is very strong against him. Um, if I get enough things whittled, I kind of just late game sweep. Uh, I'm obviously going to need the uh, Rillaboom whittled. I'm going to need the Raikou whittled um, so I can kill with Accelerate. Um, and then, yeah. I just kind of go to town, luckily. Uh, hopefully, I should say. Uh, Crunch is really nice for Slowking. Um, we also got, like I said, watch out for Scarf Landorus, but late game, this thing could be an absolute demon, and it's really important that we get up hazards with uh, with Jirachi and Sp and um, Roserade and keep them on the field uh, as, as much as possible. So, a uh, couple things. I did not feel like bringing Mega Altaria. I don't know. I, I just didn't. Really think it had the best uh, matchup offensively or defensively, um, and uh, let's see what else. Don fan I didn't bring because I think hold on. Yeah, um, Don fan I didn't bring because I, I don't know. It, it, there's no real reason. I mean, Don fan's pretty good, but um, real boom switches him pretty easily. Um, Blastoise is really really easy switch as well. 
um, to just get momentum for him, which kind of would, would not be good. Ob there's obvious reasons I didn't bring Swirlix and Audino. Uh, they're both just too passive in this matchup. So, um, again, I considered Audino, but it, it was really just not good enough <laughs> for me. Um, so, yeah, uh, that is the, the team. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the video right here, and I will get right into the battle. All right, here we are with the battle. Uh, again, week one, going up against Witchard. Um, it looks like he brought Mega Aggron, Rillaboom, Landorus, Raikou, Blastoise, and Slowking. So, um, literally just the first six on his team. No Slurpuff, Obstagoon, Colossal, or Illumis, uh, which is fine with me. Let me just move the mic there. I hope that wasn't loud or anything. All right, so I've got my calcs here. Um, I actually don't even remember if I... No, I definitely did, right? Shoot, hold on. I want to make sure I imported my sets here. I don't think I did. All right, let me do that real quick. Um, all right, copy and I want to clear my sets first. This is this is how pro gamers do it. You can't really see. I might um. I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll nuance my 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 layout um, as things go on. So. Uh, okay, so um, let's go ahead and lead Infernape. Like I said before, uh, I hope he leads Rillaboom. He leads Raikou. Alright. Um, I don't want to just lead Rose. He, or bring it, he might extra sensory here if he has it. Paladin might be a safer bet just because. Um, Apologies if the clicking of my mouse uh, bothers you, but I'm going to have to be doing a lot of clicks, apparently. Um, no, nah, but uh, I don't want him to extra sensor here and take a, a crap load on my Roserade. Okay, he switched into Slow King. All right, so I don't know what he was looking for there. I kind of just want to stealth rock and see what he wants to do. He might bring in Agron, maybe. I'm not sure. Okay, he stays in here, clicks the flamethrower. We take nothing from that. I'm gonna Doom Desire here. Um, I can just calc that real quick. Uh, flamethrower, 26.8. So he has no special attack investment. So that's good to know. Uh, he's definitely switching here. I just don't know what into. Or into what? Maybe Agron? Potentially. Okay, he stays in and clicks Future Sight. Um, okay. Mm, I really don't think he's going to stay in. I think probably Agron comes out here. I'd like to think. Um... Because, uh, all right, what, what do I actually think? Maybe Landorus is possible. Uh, maybe Blastoise. I'm going to Stark here. Um, no, he just stays in. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I think I click Hydro Pump here. Because um, what does he really switch in? Or just Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse is extremely free. So that's what I'm going to do. Or do I just U-turn? I think it's safer to U-turn into Jirachi because I quad resist the future site. In case he is Assault Vest, we can kind of scout what um, how bulky he is on the physical side with this U-turn. And if he does switch, we can, again, we switch into Rachi. Even if he's, he's not switching into Landorus, I don't think. Uh, probably Blastoise, if anything. Um, but I really, I don't want to just, I don't want him, him to be AV, like max spadef and just take nothing from this and then kill me with focus blast. That's, that is precisely what I don't want. Um, cause that will kill me if he lands it. So I'm going to U-turn. He does stay in here. Uh, so I go right back in the Jirachi and he sludge bombs. Okay. That's, that's fine. He takes, okay. 
He took 27% from that, which really is not that much if you think about it. I'll click it again. Um, okay, so he's not AV. I know that. Rillaboom comes out here. Okay. Uh, do I want to protect here? I kind of do want to protect because if he, if he knocks here, it's kind of annoying. Um, I'll just bring in Zapdos. He does knock. He gets a crit. Uh, we don't get a para, though. It's unfortunate. Um, okay. Do I just roost here? Nah, I'm going to U-turn. There's a glow king. Does he take the doom desire here? I believe he does. Okay. So hold on. Let's let's see here. So he's not assault vest, right? So that does about how much it would do with the, a max spidef, uh slow king. Um, so then, how much does Greninja's dark pulse do? It does a, a good chunk. In fact, it, it probably kills him. So I'm going to go into start. I'm not going to over... Oh! Never mind. Okay. Um, that didn't really do that much. No, I still kill him, no matter what. So I'm going to Dark Pulse. It's okay. I kill him no matter what. And I don't know what he wants to bring in here. Um... But I do a lot of damage to really anything with this. He doesn't have a dark resist, so. He does have grassy terrain up, which is annoying, but I have to deal with it. That crit was really, really bothersome, because now my uh, my Zapdos is weakened. And I don't really like that, but whatever. Um, so he got a crit there. So it was 39.7. So he's really, what kind of... Rillaboom is this? Yeah, you're probably just adamant with no boosting item. So no band or life orb. So what is that going to do to my Rosary then? Um, still, still a lot of damage, y'all. It's a lot of damage. But he'll... Uh, I don't know if you'll want to risk not outspeeding. You'll probably see the damage and, and know that he can, he can take... Oh, that's with a crit. Never mind. Stupid. Yeah, so I can take two knockoffs just fine. He brings in a Raikou here, um, which is a bit bothersome because this can obviously Volt Switch if it is um, Scarfed. Um, I think I'm going to bring in Rose here because I don't see him clicking Extra Sensory. And we can just pull up Raikou here. I don't want to be predictable, I don't want to go into Jirachi again and then hit, like, you know, you know, Shadow Ball or something. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. We'll be able to see what um, kind of Raikou this is. I mean, I doubt he'd bring it in if it wasn't Scarfed. I don't even, I might not even kill with another Dark Pool, so. Yeah. So now he knows some specs, which is fine. Unless it was like Modest or something. Uh, he does Volt Switch, it does 12. So that's definitely like scarfed. <laughs> or like, okay, I know he's on boots, so. Uh, yeah. Probably a scarf Raichu, which is a bit annoying. We have chipped that a little bit, which is good. So what does he bring in here? Uh, I wonder what he brings in here. It's gonna, be a, it's gonna be a very long battle. <laughs> uh, I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. That's okay. That's what we're here for. God, why is the quality? I just looked at the quality. It, it, it looks much worse on. Maybe I need to use my other screen, my 144 hertz monitor. No biggie wiggy. I don't know if that'll make a difference, to be honest. It probably won't. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah. He's probably gonna bring in, like, I don't know, Landers maybe, that has extra sensory. That could be your psychic, just even. But I can take one. I might just say in just to scout what it is. If he brings that in, if he brings an Ag Agron, I'll probably want to leech eat it. 
I think I take one hit from everything here. Uh, no matter what. I know real be when Blastoise don't come in here, so. We'll see. We will see. Right. Yeah. yeah. I take it I take any one hit from this thing. Roll axe. Yeah, I would keep talking, but uh, I don't really have uh, much to say, really, here. Oh, okay. Agron comes in. Uh oh. Large fella. That's his name. Um, He might ice punch here, which I really don't want to bring in Zapdos. He definitely megas. Uh, oh, you know what? My heavy duty boots were knocked off, so that's not good. I'm gonna bring it in, expecting maybe a rock here, a stealth rock. Oh, he just goes straight for the iron defense, okay. I'm gonna heat wave then. Hmm. Well, it's a good thing I brought in this. Because he's got aggro. <sighs> Alright, um. Plus two. I don't know how much this is going to do to me. See if I roost. Uh, okay, he doesn't do too much unless he's fit death, but I'm going to assume he's spit F. And if he's spit F, he takes probably a third from this. Because his, his defense set is already monstrous, so. Um, I mean, I hope he stays in because I feel like I can beat this one on one. Oh, I get a burn too. That's pretty huge. Pretty huge. So now he's at plus four, and a body press might knock me out. Um, I don't really have a switch in, so I think we're just gonna hope that he's not scarfed Landers. Is that really smart for me to do, though? It's just a hope. <laughs> I don't think it is very smart. So I did 34, so he's like max to death. So does body press kill me here? It really doesn't. So I think I'm fine with just heat waving again. Does he rest? He does rest, okay. I'm gonna just heat wave. I'm really glad I kept heat wave on this. Do 34 there. Is he sleep talk? He is. I might be able to three hit KO him here, depending on the rolls. Okay, so he does switch out. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I will just U-turn. I've already showed it, so there's no reason not to. I wonder what he has for Paladin. All right. So he's used one turn of sleep. <laughs> Move to U-turn into Jirachi. See sludge bombs, it does nothing obviously. I'm gonna wish here, because I don't think he's gonna stay in. He might future sight. He could, I suppose. I probably should have just put okay, so he brings in Landorus. Um Um Do I bring in a rose here? Suppose it's possible. I really don't want to die to this thing if I bring in Zapdos. Okay, but I, I I think I'm okay. I think I'll live any one hit. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, a life orb rock slide might kill me if he's physical. Is he going to hit that though? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to do it anyway. He's going to defog. Oh my goodness. He's got defog on his landers. I... Not expecting that. Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming this is a shell smash Blastoise in that case. Um, but I do get a U-turn off here, no matter what. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. So maybe he just doesn't... Yeah, he's got no hazards on this team, because this is a uh, rest talk uh, aggron. So, that's good to know. Good to know for show. 
what does he bring in here? He might just rock slide, but in that case, I get a free uh, Greninja, which is awesome. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. There's so many ads blocked. He's gonna rock slide. Does 48. Okay. I'm bringing Stark here. And. Do I just click the button? Do I just click Hydro here? I don't think I do. Yeah, I'm gonna U turn. I'll get a big U turn off on this. Big as in 28%. That's so intense. I don't. I, I need to remind myself that I don't need to type in the name on the calculator because uh, just because I don't. I don't have to. Okay. Uh, yeah. So he has like no. less right okay hold up yeah so he might have a little bit of hp but not that much i think tyra is pretty free here i'm gonna go into tyra and do i predict the slow king switch in because if he's spit f i can i can kill it with two earthquakes for show though i feel like that's a good play no that's the wrong I mean, I kind of want an earthquake. There's no way he stays in an earthquake. Let's go. Big earthquake. That did nothing. I forgot we're in grassy terrain. I'm so dumb. Oh my god. Wow. That's a rough one, isn't it? Yikes. Okay, but that actually did like nothing. It did 21%. So he's fizzed out. Oh, that's great to know. That's great stuff, y'all. <sighs> I think I'm gonna go to Stark here, maybe. No, I'm going to Paladin. I'll try to get my rocks back up. I mean, it's a super obvious play, but what is he really gonna do about it? I guess he could he could double into Landorus. That's what he does. Okay. Um. Well, now what do I do? I could wish the earth powers I live because I'm a boss my like, gosh darn boss bro I'm going to Zafara I feel as though um, we're losing this battle okay I live and I can u-turn I just need the right momentum don't worry y'all I'll be fine I'll be all right Don't worry about it. I just need to get Greninja in again. Now that I know it's not a spit F, uh, Slow King will be all right. This team is very well built around Rillaboom though. Oh, he killed me. Oh, that's a, that's a shame. I'm just gonna hydro pump here. So I'm really running out of options, I think. Hmm. All right, well, that sucks, but that's okay. Not really, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it, it was so obvious. I really shouldn't have uh, done that, but whatever. Ooh, I get a crit. That's nice. Uh, I'm going to click it again because I don't think he's going to um, grassy glide here. I really don't. I have a Roserade. Okay, that works. I missed, though, so, you know, I guess it doesn't work. Um, I'm going to Paladin here because... Uh, it's, this is my only chance of getting this thing healed. I d hmm, does he really click? Uh, does he really click this move, y'all? I don't know. Does he click flamethrower? I don't know what that is. Don't worry about it. Um, he might. I mean, how much does Hydra do to this though? 
So I guess he was expecting Rosary there. Okay, you're not even, you're like fizz death, bro. Yeah, well, it's not gonna 2k in the, in the terrain. Like I said, like I said, this is like the only chance I'm gonna get to actually heal this up because of grassy terrain, so. Um, might as well take it. Nope, he makes the right play there. Uh, so good for him, I guess. We'll go to you, and we'll click Dark Pulse this time. And hopefully get a 2k on this. We'll see. I mean, it's definitely got a 2k on but I don't know what he switches in here. I don't have rocks up, which kind of sucks. Okay, he stays in. Dude. I don't know why this thing has to be so bulky, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Can we get, like, a good roll on the Raikou so that he can't bring that in? Please? Please? Because last time I did 50 and he's a... Oh, he's lefties. I'm so stupid, bro. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We'll be alright. Okay, we do kill it there. Um, now he can bring in Rillaboom. So does he think I stay in here? Because I I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stay in. I'm not going to. So I'm gonna, that did fifty nine percent. Why is this thing gonna be so? Get gosh darn bulky, bro. Um, kind of want to double. Well, he might U turn. So leech seed. Okay, this comes in. Uh, I'm gonna spike. Get a spike up. Stop this. All this gosh darn recovery, hopefully. And uh, Stark could switch in here because it'll do cheat, but uh, it's not going to do that. I'm going to bring it in now. And uh, let's see if he predicts this. Let's see what he does. Okay, I don't think that was a prediction. Because now I can just Scald. Oh, do I kill uh, Rillaboom here? Unless you're like Pasho Berry for some reason. That would be pretty cool. Uh, do I... Uh, with a spike up? Hold on. What did I do? Hold on. Uh, crit did 70. Okay. So let's say he has like... Okay. So Scald should knock him out. He's going to be at... Oh yeah, it's definitely knocking him out. There's no way he lives that. Um, so I'm not gonna risk a miss. I already missed once. I'm not gonna risk that again. Uh, so I'm just gonna click Scald here. I could always Dark Pulse, but uh, I don't wanna risk him staying in here for whatever reason. Um, and then just kind of me not killing him because I don't think I kill. I mean, okay, I'll click Cancel here and I'll look it up, but I really don't think I kill him. He is mixed, so if he's naive, that could help us. But it's still got to get like a really high roll to kill him. So, and I think at this point, I don't know if he actually keeps this thing around. It doesn't outspeed anything but Roserade, and Roserade it might just flat out lose to anyway. Given given my set, yeah, I take two Earth Powers, I take two Rock Slides, and I can just Giga Drain. So, I don't know if he keeps this thing. He might just sack it. Okay, Agron comes in. Okay. Uh, we're going to Scald and almost knock it out. We're going to get another kill of Greninja here. Uh, oh, wait. He could switch into Blastoise if he really wants to. I don't know if he wants to do that, though. I really don't know if he wants to do that. We got to keep... Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Slow King comes in. All right, um... Yeah. He could future sight here, I think. That's a possibility. I'm pretty sure uh Lycan Rock kills Rillaboom with Acceler Rock, so I'm not really worried about that. Yo, what if, no, he's lefties. Okay, well, lefties plus grassy terrain is going to help him out a lot there. 
So I want to know how much we do uh, with with that fifty six. Select us thirty one to thirty seven. So yeah, uh, it's kind of gonna be rough here. Who's watching this, by the way? Uh, the old legendary superior back at it again. Um, I really don't want to get poisoned here. That's the only issue. Um, I feel like a future site's coming my way, though. And I could definitely just go... What if I go husk? Is he sludge bombs? Do I... Do I do a lot to this thing? I really do. I do do a lot. Um, this is really rough, because I don't know what he's going to click. How does Infernape take a sludge bomb? It does not take it very well, but if he future sights, I can earthquake um, straight into like an overheat and get at it. I'm gonna do that. I, I feel like a future sight's coming here. It's not. I was wrong. And he does get a poison on me. Okay. Um. So do I just stay in here? Oh my god, that really sucks. Do I just stay in here and click earthquake, or do I just overheat? How much did it do last time? Like, I'm just gonna earthquake. It'll do like half, and then I can bring in Greninja again. Oh boy, I'm getting close. Oh god, I don't know. I don't know how this ends up right now. I don't want to overheat and then him stay in, and then we're in a shit position. Because I gotta switch something else in on this. Okay, he does just switch. And now I can close combat and get the eject pack. So Earthquake did 27 to you. That's actually actually a lot. So if he doubles out, he doesn't. Okay, I don't kill him. This kind of sucks, but I can bring out Rose. And he does Shell Smash. And I can kick a drain from here. Really sucks that that didn't kill, to be honest. But I do have mock. Well, yeah, whatever. No, I'm able to knock him out there. And, uh. He's saying GG. I don't really know why. Um. Hmm. Interessante. Uh, I guess I can just sack tire at this point. Yeah, and I bring Stark, and I can, well, no, I can't really Dark Pulse, can I? I can Scald. Okay, he, he lets me kill this, okay. That's fine. I mean, I had Mock Punch anyway in the back for that, but, yeah. Um, what do I do here? I think I bring in Rose. I, I halfway sack Rose, right? And then... Okay, he sludge bombs. I think I leech eat here. Hmm. I think I have to sludge bomb and make sure Rillaboom doesn't come in. Um, how much does Future Sight do to Lycanroc is my question. Alright, sorry, I just got it. Kind of, kind of quiet right there. It does a lot, dude. It really does do a lot. Mm. All right. Um, but how much is my? Oh, dude, I don't know. Damn it. We're in a tough spot here. Well, okay. So if he future sights here, and then he kills me, I bring in Stark next turn. I dark pulse. I absorb that um, thing. Oh god. But then he gets the. Free, free turn of Rillaboom. Um, which kind of sucks. I'm going to Leech Seed. Uh, God. Nah, dude. I, don't, I, I, I can't let... If the Rillaboom comes in here, I probably lose. To be honest. Unless he doesn't kill with... No, because he outspeeds me. Yeah, I have to sludge bomb. I can't let the Rillaboom come in and get and get health. 
Okay, so he kills me there. <clears throat> No, I think I have to bring in Husk here. Because, <coughs> um... Like... Yeah, I can't let him get uh, health back. Dude, I don't even know if I win this. It depends on his last... I don't know what his last move is. Uh, I think I have to go into Husk here. So the way I'm seeing it, right, is that I don't kill it. I don't kill Rillaboom unless I have the 38, um, unless I have the spike on him, which is bringing it down to 26, but then Leftwich plus Crashy Terrain brings it back up to 38, and I don't kill him at that range. I need him at, at 20, 26%. So I think I have to bring it in and just hope he doesn't have, like, anything to hit me here. Or I can just kill it outright, which would be great. I mean, I am Tusk. Tough Claw's boosted, but I know he has Fizz Def investment here. No, I do. Oh, I crit him. Ooh, I don't know if that mattered. But I do just Acceleraki or knock him out. Dang. I don't know if that mattered. Hmm. I want to find out, like, right now. Because based on that, like, Earthquake damage from Infernape earlier on, um, he was pretty physically bulky, man. He was quite the physical uh, demon, bro. Ooh, he says yes very much. All right, we'll have a discussion about it later on. Um, but yeah, that sucks for him. But uh, that was, I think, I don't know, dude. That's rough. Like he was saying GG earlier, I'm like, I don't really, why are you saying that? Because it was still really, uh, Rillaboom was a threat for me. I shouldn't have let, Z I played really poorly with the Jirachi and the Zapdos. Um, I became, like, you know, my plays were just really obvious, um, and he was able to take advantage of it with the Landers, which is good for him, but, um, you know, we're able to pull out the win just barely, um, and yeah, we get a 2-0, which is great, and, um, yeah, that's the end of that, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week for week two, so see you there.